Hey, it's Eli IK Atlas, and today's video is going to be a short and simple one. I got a request from one Brian Roach on a video I did a while back. He was wondering, how do you find your own style? I think this is a bit of an odd question to ask me of all people, for the simple fact that I don't think I've found my style yet, at least not in the way I think he's thinking of. Does my work have a consistent look to it? Of course, this is what I do for a living, so consistency is key for me to stay at a certain level. People expect a particular look when they come to me, so I have to be able to give that to them. And I recommend cons consistency in anything that you guys decide to do, but especially with art. The consistency that you see in my art is from years of practice and really getting to know my craft and my tools inside and out, to the best of my ability. But of course, there's still so much to learn. You can never really know everything because what you need to know changes all the time. It depends on what you want to do, what others in your field are doing, what's popular, what the basics are, so on and so forth. Really, I think it just comes down to this. What do you want to do? The most important advice I can give you is to know what you're going for. That's why you can see someone who's been drawing for years who's not that great, and you can see someone who's only been drawing for a little while, and they can run circles around the other guy on the page. The runner knows where he's going, so he just gets there fastest. Do you have an affinity for classical art, Art Nouveau and avant-garde type stuff? Do you like pop art, comic art? Once you decide on that, you have to look at the top guys in that field and figure out three things. Do I want to copy them? Do I want to defy them completely? And finally, how much do I want to take from them? And I say that last one because we all grab something or another from our inspirations on our way up, but as we go, our influences will typically change. Art evolves like most things, so while you might see one of your favorite guys and feel like they've totally established their look, there's a good chance they're still trying to improve. I know I am, at least. So I think that's how you find your own style. You just have to take all the elements that you see in the art that you're exposed to and make it your own. And that can come from a hundred different places at once. And when you match them together with your own hands, they make something totally different, totally new, and totally your own. That's why it's hard to be a duplicate of an artist. You can emulate someone's style easily, but you'll never really capture their energy because they might be your influence, but they have other influences. You might just be seeing the results of their work and copying it, but you don't know why they do what they do. Just try not to overthink it, I think. All good things come in due time. Just practice all the time, experiment, try new things, have fun with your art, most importantly. And the longer you do it, the more shorthand you'll develop. When you imagine a particular hairstyle for a character or a costume or anything like that, for example, eventually you'll know instantly how to draw it using all the techniques you've learned over time. It's all about learning and all about experience. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll have more videos like this every Monday as usual. Um, hopefully more instructional stuff, but I uh, also enjoyed giving this kind of talk as well. It did give me something to think about. And hopefully it gives you guys something to think about as well. You can find me on all my different social media sites, where you can also see the full versions of the pictures that I rummage through in this video. Find me on DeviantArt, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. The links will be in the description below. So make sure you check those out. Thank you for watching.